So what do you do with all this fireplace wood ash? Of course, who doesn't enjoy the warmth of a fire in the winter? But once the wood is burned, you gotta deal with that ash, or somebody has to. So what I thought I would do is just take some of these tools that I have here and clean out the firebox. This is a Rumford firebox. And you can see over the past couple of weeks, I've built up quite a bit of ash. So basically what I'm gonna do is just take this out and fill up this ash bucket with it. And you wanna make sure that you gently pour it in like this. Otherwise you're gonna get this poof of ash dust all through the house. It makes it hard to breathe. And it's also helpful if it's a newspaper down in case you happen to spill some on the rug or the hearth and so forth. Now, what's great about ash is that it has a benefit in the garden. If you love to grow plants, you'll find it interesting that wood ash contains about 1% phosphorus and about 5% potassium and a lot of other little trace elements that help our plants grow. Now, depending on your soil type, this wood ash can come in handy. So why don't I get this cleaned up? Let's head up to the garden and I'll show you how I apply it. So let me show you a little indicator out here in the vegetable garden that the soil might be slightly acidic. You can see right here where we hadn't even cultivated down here, we've got a pocket of moss growing. If you see moss growing, that's an indicator that your soil is acidic. A lot of these vegetable plants really like to have an alkaline soil, and that's what this <clears throat> ash will do. It'll help make the soil a little sweeter. Vegetables like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, even chard and lettuces, they like a slightly sweeter soil. Of course, there's no magic to this. What I'm doing is what we call side dressing this row of Brussels sprouts. Every time I get a bucket of ash, I bring it out here. I want to make sure that there are no hot coals in here would make an unpleasant experience. So I just kind of go along and throw a handful of it and I'll do this row and finish it out on both sides. And then the next time I have a bucket of ash, I'll come out and do another row. And that's the way I apply it. See what I'm doing is I'm changing the alkalinity of the soil just slightly um, toward the sweeter. What will happen here is over time, I'll get the chemistry of the soil right. If you like these tips, tell your friends and make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.